Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? Poppy Valley here. And today I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to make a chain for 5M. We're gonna be putting it into Blender, 3DS Max and Open IV, showing you the whole thing all the way through what to do. So uh, yeah, let's get it. Before you do this, you'll need Blender, 3DS Max, and you'll need Open IV as well. You'll need Gims Evo for 3DS Max to be able to import and export everything you need to actually make the chain 5M ready. So we're gonna open up Blender first off. Then you're just gonna select all of this right here and delete it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna import our actual chain model here. Go to Wavefront, Import. Then you're gonna select whatever chain model you may be using. All right, so right here, you see, I got my chain broke down into three different pieces here. We got all the diamonds selected and then we got the actual chain. So now we're just gonna import our pendant, which for this video, I'm gonna be actually making a Spider-Man chain. So we're gonna import our Spider-Man pendant here, size it down to where it needs to be. All right, so once you got that about lined up, we're just gonna get it finished up here. I'm actually gonna turn this and make it look like it's hanging on to the chain rather than just being like a pendant. It's gonna look like he's got his hand right there on the chain holding on to it. So we're just gonna rotate this a little bit and adjust it how we want it. All right, that looks pretty much perfect to me. We got it about where we want it. So now we're just gonna hop over here into the shading tab after we got everything lined up. Then we're gonna select our chain. We're gonna drag this down a little bit, click on add. Add image texture. And then you just wanna connect the little dots here to color and alpha. And then you wanna import your texture. All right, so it may look a little messy right now, but right here is where we're about to clean that up. So you wanna go into UV editing and press A to select everything on your chain. We're gonna zoom out. We're gonna drag and select everything over to the side. Press unwrap. And then you wanna hover back over your chain on this other window and press U. And it'll open up the UV menu and click on Q projection. And then you've got an outline of your actual chain. So now you can size this down to where you need it to fit and put it inside of your texture. You All right, so once you got that done, you'll go back into shade and make sure everything looks how you want it to. And then we're going to repeat the process for all these items. So now in the end, you want to make sure you got your roughness on 1.0. Set your metallic between 8.0 or 0.8 and 0.9, my bad. We want to keep it right there in that area. You don't want it all the way up, but you don't want it too low either. So now we're going to select all of these. And you're going to right click and click on join. And we're going to click on our pendant and click back on the chain again. 
right click join and then boom you have a chain ready to go into 3ds and be made by them ready so we're just going to click right here and get a little view of what it looks like here looks good i'm happy with it so now we're going to export it somewhere that we're going to remember i'm just going to put it right here on my desktop <clears throat> So now you want to open up 3DS, go right here to the GIMS tab, open up the GTA 5 files. Once you got that opened up, you want to go to import and import your skeleton. And then once you got your skeleton imported, we can actually add the chain from there. What I like to do is I like to actually use a player model for my skeleton so I can line my chain up a little bit better. So I'm going to import my player model here as well. All right, so once we got in here, <clears throat> all right, so once we got that in here, we're going to get lined up. You want to drop this down three times so you see low, high, and medium. You want to click on the low and medium and delete those but all we need is the high so now you'll go to import and import your actual chain so now that you got your actual chain imported you can press u to zoom in on it a little bit better you see right here it's going through the close a little bit so what we're going to do is scale that out just a tad bit looks good around the neck and everything we just got the pendant going through so we're going to scale that you don't really want to scale it too high i wouldn't recommend going over 15 110 somewhere in that area maybe 120 at the highest depending on how small the chain actually is because obviously you know the more you scale it the bigger it's going to get you don't want it to be humongous so we're going to get this line back up here All right, that's looking a little bit better now. All right, so then you want to come over to the side here, click on teeth high. Then you're going to come over to this other side, click on the cube editable mesh click on another cube scroll down go to attach okay all right so now we've attached our chain to the default chain scroll down go to select id and select id one and just press delete to get rid of the default chain then you want to select your actual chain and set the id to two now, after you set the ID to two, you're going to want to zoom in some, and this will be where you select the parts of the chain that you don't want to glow. So I'm going to go through here and select all of these bits. All right, so once you got that selected, you want to set the ID of that to one. And then when you click right here on the diffs, you'll see you've got one that shows the diamonds and the pendant, the one that's selecting the actual chain. 
All right, so for number one, for the actual chain, we're gonna set this to 185 and zero and click OK. Then you wanna to go to illumination, set the value to zero, OK, and then alpha to zero and OK. We're gonna do the same exact thing for the other one here. Except we're only going to set this to 185 and OK. And we're going to set the value of the illumination to zero. Set your alpha to zero. We're good to go. All right, so now that's done, all you got to do is click on skin. Click on edit envelopes and then vertices. Scroll down, click on spine three. Scroll down past that and then click on the weight tool. So when you open this up, sometimes there'll be something, sometimes there won't. You want to select your whole chain, just click the number one and then exit out. So from here, you are completely done attaching it to the skeleton. All you got left to do is to add your materials. So you'll open up GIMS again for GTA 5 and then open the material editor and click on options. Right here, you want to set this to PED and PED. And you're going to add your bump texture, your actual texture, and then your spec texture. Then right here, you want to go to bumpiness, set it to 1.0810. Specular fall off, set it to 1997. You want to set your frenzel to 4500. Set your intensity to 20. Then you want to turn the wind scales all the way to zero. All right, now you're completely done with that. We're just going to repeat the same exact process on this next one. The only difference is for the specular intensity, we'll be making it 10. And instead of setting it to pad and pad, we'll do pad and pad emissive. All All right, so once you got that done, you can just close those out and you're ready to export your chain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select where we wanna export it, click down these three tabs so we can see the editable mesh here from where we actually attach the chain and then you're gonna click on continue. So once you got your files exported, we're gonna come right here into open IV, open up the mods folder and open our little clothing folder here. You want to drag your ODD file into here, but make sure you got it in edit mode first or it won't work. So once that's in here, we can double click it. And you see right here, we have our chain. Now don't panic. It was going to be purple and gold like this until we actually add the textures. So now we want to go right here and right click and make a new texture dictionary. We're going to rename it the same as the texture name or the chain name. But you want to put diff before the numbers and then you're going to put underscore A underscore uni rather than just leaving it with an underscore U. All right. So once we got that done, we'll open that up. Go to import and we're going to select our texture that we use to make the chain. So now once you do that, we just click on save and that's pretty much it. You're ready to go. You got everything 5M ready now. All you have to do is rename the files and add it into your actual clothing pack. 
see right here we add the texture on there's the texture for spider-man the chain everything's how it's supposed to be nothing's changed it looks good we're good to go all right so from here you'll change the name put it inside of your clothing pack or get whoever city you're in put it in their clothing pack whatever you want to do and you're good to go but I appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. I hope this was helpful in any way. I'll leave my Discord down below so y'all can tap into Discord if you got any other questions or need any type of support, man. Now, I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Make sure to subscribe, like, all that type shit. And uh, I'll catch y'all next time. Appreciate it.